upon our minds. Father, I accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. We thank you for a time to praise you, a time to worship you. We ask that you continue with us and lead us in prayers today. Jesus Christ, minister life unto us, O oh God our Father, we worship and adore you. In Jesus' name, Amen. praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Channel, check our Facebook page for a summary of last week's study. Um, today we just want to have a look at uh, one or two things. It's the, we've got two pictures here. One showing something under an umbrella, and there is space for another person. But the other person decided to stay <coughs> out and away from the umbrella, and it looks sad. The person that is being covered by the umbrella is smiling. And the handle of the umbrella looks like letter G. It looks like Jesus' umbrella. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And then we have this second picture. We have a young boy. That appears as if some invisible person is covering him with an umbrella. The boy is going alone on the road in the woods kind of place. Yet he's got protection over him. We want to have a look at remaining under God's cover. Remaining under God's cover. Remaining under God's cover. During the Sunday school, we were looking at psalms. We were looking at psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. And we were asked to mention a few psalms. I remember somebody mentioned Psalm 91. And we'll go to Psalm 91 again as our text. Psalm 91 again as our text. Today we'll be praying. We'll be praying. I pray that the Holy Ghost of God will guide us and teach us how to pray and help us to pray according to the mind and will of God. And I pray that God will hear and answer our prayers speedily in Jesus' name. Amen. 
He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers and under His wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Hallelujah. His truth will be your shield and your buckler. And, and, and so that will be some basis for us to start from the starting point. But we'll just have to look at one or two other Bible verses. Philippians 1 6. Philippians 1 6 says, Being confident of this very thing that he which had begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Be confident in this very thing that he which had begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. So develop that confidence that God who has begun a good work in you, he will perform it. He will complete it. He will finish it. Hebrews 12 one Hebrews 12 one says, Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Going back to Psalm 91, let's just look at verses 1 and 2. We should be in an attitude of prayer, whether you are sitting down, whether you are standing, just know that the prayer points will be coming and you will be praying. Hallelujah. God, who has begun a good thing in our lives, He will complete it, He will, <clears throat> he will perfect it in Jesus' name. Amen. There's a covenant of God to protect us. There's a covenant of God to protect us. God has given us that protection. When you see a family, you, you see the head of the family, you see the children, and above the head of the family, there is Christ. There is God Almighty. So you have God, you have Christ, you have the father, you have the mother, you have the children protection upon protection upon protection upon protection. There's a covenant of God's protection. And so we're enjoined not to walk away from that shield, from that protection of God. In today's day-to-day uh, -to -day activities, people are wearing masks and stuff like that. That is physical. But God has given us his own spiritual shield, his own spiritual protection. As we read the first two verses of, of Psalm 91, 1 and 2. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. He shall abide. And secondly, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, and my God. In Him will I trust. He will say. We see that we must dwell in the secret place of the Most High. We must dwell in the secret place of God that place of confidence and restful trust. Also, we must continually say of the Lord to build up our faith, to confess that yes, we know what we are doing, we acknowledge the almightiness of God in our lives. We must continually say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I will trust. We must do both of these things to have all the covenant protections. We must do all these things to get the shield and the protection of God. Somebody can sit down there and say even right now, the Lord is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. Even as you are seated right now, you can just develop that and say, the Lord God Almighty is my refuge, is my fortress, my God in whom I will trust. I will always trust my God because it's my refuge and my fortress. I wonder who said it. I wonder who has said it just now. 
So will we pray. Did anybody say the Lord is my refuge and my fortress? Did anybody say my God is the one I will trust? That is what we have just read in Psalm 91. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Just like we are in this country, and we say, What's the national anthem? You sing that anthem. You sing the anthem. Where I came from, there is even what is called national pledge for, for this particular Christian who is saying, I am dwelling in the secret place of the Most High. He's also saying, I am abiding there, I am staying there, and every now and again, I will confess that the Lord is my refuge, is my fortress. My God is the one that I trust. Hallelujah. Amen. Remain under the cover of God. Many times people wander away from cover. They think that they are okay. They think that they are okay. They say, ah, what is it? Then they wander away from cover. Remember the prodigal son? He wandered away from his father's cover. And what happened to him? He was beaten by, by the devil. And he had to come back. He came back to his senses, thank God. And he had to come back, humbled himself. His father welcomed him, praise the Lord. But he thought, I can walk away from the cover of God. If you are thinking of that, think twice right now. God is saying, don't walk away from the cover that he is prepared for you, for your family, for your spouse, for your children. Let us go ahead and thank God. Go ahead and thank God for everything. Say thank you, Father, for the gift of salvation, for the gift of the Holy Spirit, who lives in us and helps us at all times. Go ahead and say thank you for the gift of your word, through which we know your will for our lives. Go ahead and thank the Lord. Go ahead and thank God. Oh Lord, thank you for the performance of your word in our lives and in the lives of our loved ones. Go ahead and thank God for what he's doing in your life and for protecting us and doing much more than we could ever have asked for or dreamt of. During this course, the course of this year so far, during the course of this year so far, the Lord has been faithful. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jehovah El Shaddai. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God, for your shield, for your shelter, for your provision, for your protection. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you. You lead in us. You help us at all times. You help us at all times. Thank you, oh God, for the gift of your word, so which we know your will for our lives. Oh Lord, thank you for the performance of your word. Are you praying? Are you thanking the Lord? Go ahead and thank the Lord, because we want to remain under God's call. We want to remain under God's call. Thank God for the project started in this parish since the lockdown began. God has worked wonders in this parish since the lockdown began. Go ahead and thank God for all the things that he has used you to do, all the things that he has worked through us in this in this. Uh, period of lockdown, this pandemic period, God has worked for us. So many years we have been in fountain of love in Beirut. But just short few months, God has done so mightily. Thank God for all those that he has used in achieving these this exploits. Thank God for the Facebook publications that we are having. Thank God for, for reviving that Facebook. Thank God for the publications. Thank God for the YouTube channel. Thank God for the parish website. Thank God for all that he has used. All the people that are doing exploits, exploits behind the scene for the, for the Facebook publication, for the YouTube channel, for the parish website, for the Glorious Temple, the, all the music presentations and ministrations, all the care home visitations, all the gifts that were given out, even the, 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 the physical ones, the, the the, the financial gifts, everything that I've been given, and go ahead and say thank you. Go ahead and thank God. Thank God for everything that He's doing. You want to remain under the cover of God. We, we learned some a week or two ago that if you if you learn how to say thank you, you are building up the possibility of getting more, of getting more. And now it's time to receive forgiveness from God. It's time to receive forgiveness from God. You want to ask God for forgiveness? 
Father, please forgive me for the times I did not decrease for you to increase in my life. For all those times that I did not decrease for you to increase in my life. Go ahead and say, Father, please forgive me. Forgive me, O oh God, forgive us for every sin of lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, pride of life, every sin of chattiness, talking too much, exaggerations, hardness of hearts. God, please forgive us. Forgive me, O oh God. Go ahead and ask for forgiveness. Ask for forgiveness. Receive forgiveness from God right now. You are praying. Are you praying? Do you really need it? Father, please forgive me for the time that I did not decrease for you to increase in my life. The times that I thought, yes, I can do everything on my own. Oh, I'm holding it here. God, you just hold that part. I am strong enough to hold this part. I did not decrease for you to increase. God, please forgive me. Forgive us, oh God, for the sin of lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, pride of life. During Sunday school, the, the Sunday school teacher was mentioning some songs, some songs that we should not even be singing, we should, they should not be heard. We, we are going back to sing a few of those songs. Father, please forgive us. Lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, pride of life, chattiness, exaggeration, hardness of heart. Go ahead, Father, please forgive us of our sins. A sin of unforgiveness, malice. I'm going to get you in the future. I am planning, I am planning, I'm just waiting for you to enter into my trap. All those sins of unforgiveness and malice. Ask for forgiveness right now. Ask for forgiveness right now. Ask for forgiveness for the sin of disobedience and not listening to the Holy Spirit. Disobeying the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit says, sit down, you say you want to stand up. He says, turn right, you say you want to turn left. Ask for forgiveness right now. Not, not listening to the Holy Spirit, not listening to the Holy Spirit. Ask God to forgive you. Pray for forgiveness in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. See, it is, it is of utmost importance. It's of utmost importance. Not just to finish a journey, but to finish it well. People run races. People run races. You have seen various competitions, Olympics, and all those other competitions. Most of them, they just fit. They finish. But who are they looking for? They're looking for first, second, and third. All the other ones, well done, well done. Well done. But the important thing, the thing of utmost importance is to finish well. It is not a trivial thing that of uh, about 600,000 men, 600,000 adults who, who left the land of Egypt, only two of them, only two of them got to the promised land. Because of our time, we would have loved to. So, to check one or two Bible passages. But we can go to that Psalm 91 verse 2 again. It says, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in Him will I trust. My God in Him will I trust. What do we have in Psalm 119 verse 37? Psalm 119 verse 37 says, Turn away my eyes from beholding vanity, and cooking thou me in thy way. Turn away my eyes from beholding vanity and cooking thou me in thy way. Let me focus on you. Let me focus on you. Quicken me in your way. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. I'm not trusting the arm of flesh. I'm not trusting. I'm not trusting anyone, anybody. I'm only really trusting God. So you can use that one to pray. You can use that one to pray. According to your word, O oh God, turn your eyes from worthless things. Help me, O oh God, to turn my eyes away from worthless things. And help me, O oh God, to purge my atmosphere of all that is not of you. Help me to purge my atmosphere, everything around me, my surroundings of things that are not of you. Of things that are not of you. I, I remember, I think it was... Uh, but just this last week, we were looking at having our camp clean, getting our camps to be clean. And so you want to pray right now, what is it inside my heart? What is it in, that's in my camp that is of filth, that is of dirt, that is of uncleanness? God, I reject those things. 
purge my heart of those things. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray right now. The Lord is my fortress. The Lord is my focus. In that Psalm 119, what did we, what did we see in that Psalm 119 at 7 once again? Psalm 119 at 7. Six. Turn my eyes away from worthless things. Preserve my life according to your word. Yes, turn my eyes away from worthless things. Don't let me be old vanity. Quicken me in your way. Quicken me in your way. Go ahead and pray. Father, quicken me in your way. Turn my eyes away from worthless things. Turn my eyes away from vanity, things that are not important to you. Turn my eyes away from them. Are you praying where you are? In that your home, in your bedroom, in the living room, wherever you are, or you are here, go ahead and pray. Father, turn my eyes away from worthless things. Turn my eyes away from worthless things. And Father, please help me to purge my atmosphere of all that is not of you. Help me to purge my atmosphere of all that is not of you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We want to pray against division. We want to pray against division. You know the call from, from the school of disciples I learned that the battle cry of the devil, the battle cry of the devil is to separate us from God. That is what is telling is the demons. That is what is telling is his cause. That is what his plan is. Just separate him from his God. Separate her from his God. Jesus cried on the cross. He said, my God, my God, why art thou forsaken me? Because Jesus was carrying the sin of man, the sin of man on him. And God's eyes are too holy to behold what? To behold iniquity. And so that is what the devil is planning in various forms. He's trying to put division there. And so you're going to pray against every form of division in your life, in your home, in your marriage. When any wrong spirit tries to take up residence in your home, deal with it immediately. Spirit of strife, spirit of unforgiveness, spirit of pride and rebellion, get out of my home in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and say that. Go ahead and say that. Spirit of strife. Spirit of unforgiveness, spirit of pride, spirit of rebellion. Get out of my home in the name of Jesus Christ. Psalm 99 verse 1, remember that one. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High, he shall also abide under the shadow of the Almighty. You cannot be dwelling in the secret place of the Most High and say you will no want to abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I want to be in this place, but I don't want to follow the rules. I don't want to follow what God is saying. Every spirit of division, I come against you. And I cast you out of my home in the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit of strife, every spirit of unforgiveness, every spirit of pride, every spirit of rebellion, get out of my home in the name of Jesus Oh yes, go ahead and pray, go ahead and pray, go ahead and pray with authority. Fill your life with the spirit of power of God. Fill your life with the spirit and power of God. Remember in Genesis 1, creation, in Genesis 1, you have creation, the atmosphere, the earth's atmosphere was dark and empty until God spoke. And God is telling you right now, go ahead and speak, go ahead and speak, go ahead and speak. The earth and the sky did not automatically take on the spiritual atmosphere of God. God had to fill the space when he spoke with what he wanted to occupy that space. What is it that you want to occupy your family? What is it that you want to occupy your life? What is it that you want to occupy your home? Go ahead and speak them right now. Speak them. God said, let there be light. There was darkness, there was chaos, and he put all that into it in that Genesis 1. He said, let there be light, and there was light. What are you speaking into your family? Speak against every form of division. Speak against every spirit of strife, every spirit of unforgiveness. Speak against, against every spirit of pride and rebellion. Tell them, get out of my home. In the name of Jesus, there's unity in my home. There's unity in my family. There's unity in my marriage. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. What are we doing? We are praying. We are praying to remain under the cover of God Almighty. When you set your love upon the Lord, you will desire to love others 
as he loves you. When you set your love upon the Lord, you will no, that is your desire to love others as God loves you. But if you step out of love, you are stepping into six months territory. If you, the, the umbrella that we saw at the beginning, there was somebody who stepped away from there was space for him under the umbrella. But he decided to step away from the umbrella. What happened? The rain and everything was beating him and was sad. Whereas there was umbrella available for him to use. And so if you step out of love, out of the love of God, you are stepping into certain strength, strife, unforgiveness, rebellion, and pride. They are all tools in the hand of the devil. The devil uses them to come into our lives, into your life, and stir up trouble. The devil is using unforgiveness, rebellion, pride to, to stir up trouble in our lives. It is very costly. It is very costly to allow parents, to allow children to rebel and, and, and Children to talk back to you, it is very possible because they look tiny, they look small now. What is it? What did my child say? He just said this. Don't forget it. Because you are inviting the wrong spirit to operate in your home. You are inviting the wrong spirit to operate in your home. On the other hand, the power of agreement is what? Is a supernatural miracle working power. So determine your heart, my dear brethren, determine your heart to stop any attitude or situation that cause division and destruction. Determine with the help of the Holy Spirit every attitude, every situation that causes the divine uh, division and destruction. Make sure you determine right now to, to, to do what to stop it. And the Holy Ghost of God will help you in Jesus' name. Amen. The Holy Spirit of God will help you in Jesus' name. Amen. What do we have in Deuteronomy 34? Deuteronomy 34, 1 to 4. Deuteronomy 34, 1 to 4. Deuteronomy 34, 1 to 4. And Moses went up from the plains of Moab unto the mountain of Nebo to the top of Pisgah, that is over against Jericho. And the Lord showed him all the land of Gilead unto Dan, and all Naphtali, and the land of Ephraim and Manasseh, and all the land of Judah unto the utmost sea, and the south, and the plain of the valley of Jericho, the city of palm trees unto Zua. He showed him all these places, and the Lord said unto Moses, said unto him, This is the land which I swear unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob, saying, I will give it unto thy seed. I have caused thee to see it with thine eyes, but thou shalt not go over either. Oh, you have seen it, but you are not getting there. You have seen it, but you are not getting there. This is the place that I promised your great grandfather, and now I'm showing you, but you are not getting there. Near success. He took them out of Egypt for 40 years, and last minute, God is telling him, Sorry, you are not getting there. Pray against the spirit of Pisca. He was on top of that mountain, Pisca. God showed him everything. the spirit of failure at the edge of success. As for restoration of lost opportunities, are you praying that now? Are you praying that now? What do we told you to stretch the rod you were striking. Oh, because of all these points, you are not getting there. I will just show you. Go ahead and pray. Father, don't let me stop at the edge of success. Don't let me stop at the edge of success. Go ahead and pray. 
Oh yes, Father, please let me to succeed. Let me to succeed. Don't let me see the promised land and not get there. Ask for restoration of lost opportunities. Ask for restoration of lost opportunities. Father, please recreate opportunities for us. Recreate those opportunities we have missed earlier this year. Recreate them for us, O God, in the name of Jesus. Evangelism opportunities, recreate them for us. Opportunity to bless others in love and opportunities to be your ambassadors. Recreate them for us, O God. Father, I don't want to fail at the end of success. I don't want to fail at the end of success. Help me out in this matter, O God. Help me out in this matter, I pray, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray, thank you. Go ahead and pray. Grant me the grace to be of future opportunities, dear God. In the name of Jesus. Grant me the grace to be mindful of opportunity. Or you are just taking time. Oh, this service is long today. Go ahead and pray, my dear brother. Go ahead and pray, my dear sister. Grant me the grace to be mindful of future opportunities, dear God. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yes, Father, I pray against the spirit of wisdom. I pray against the spirit of failure and the end of success. And I, I pray against the of failure and the end of success. I shall succeed. I shall reach my goal. I shall fulfill destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. God Almighty, whatever is that is holding me back, that is not allowing me to progress, that is not allowing me to go forward, to get to the promised land, please, with your mercy, remove it. With your mercy, remove it, O oh God. Ah, Father, restore lost opportunities unto me in the name of Jesus. Recreate opportunities for us. Those opportunities that we missed out this year, recreate them for us, O oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Go ahead and pray. And me by the Holy Spirit, O oh God, to be kingdom minded and yield to the leading of the Holy Spirit. Jesus is coming back. Jesus is coming again. Will you be raptured? Will you be ready when the Lord shall come? Will you be ready when the Lord shall come? Will you be ready when the Lord shall come? Will you be ready when the Lord shall come? I will be ready. I will be ready. I will be ready when the Lord shall come. I will be ready. I will be ready. I will be ready when the Lord shall come. And thou me by the Holy Spirit to be kingdom minded, O God and to yield to the leading of the Holy Spirit all through the remaining parts of this year. I pray in the name of Jesus. God and me by the Holy Spirit to be kingdom minded. Oh, let me to set my affections on things above, not on things on the, on the earth here. Holy Spirit, I ask you for clear and specific direction in my life, in my family, in my ministry, now and henceforth, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. Holy Spirit, I ask you for clear and specific direction in my life, in my family, in my ministry, in my work with you. Henceforth, over in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, endow me by the Holy Spirit to be kingdom minded. Help me to be kingdom minded and to yield to the leading of the Holy Spirit all through the remaining part of this year and into the future. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Amen. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Do we have Ecclesiastes? Yes. Do you have Ecclesiastes in your Bible? Ecclesiastes 7, what does it say? Verse 8. Ecclesiastes 7, 8. Is there anything in Ecclesiastes 7, 8? What does it say? Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. And the patience in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. And the patience in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. Go ahead and pray to finish strong in Jesus' name. Go ahead and pray to finish well in the name of Jesus Christ. 
O oh Lord, your word in Ecclesiastes 7 says that better is the end of a thing than the beginning. I decree that this year will end well for me and my household. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree that this year will end well for me and my household. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree that this year will end well for me and my household. In the name of Jesus Christ, go ahead and pray. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. So, Lord, I decree, according to your word, that this year will end well for me. This year will end well for my household. Yes, in the name of Jesus, this year will end well for my household. In the name of Jesus, this year will end well for Fountain of Love in Verruri. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, go ahead and decree. I decree that this year will end well for me and my household in Jesus' name. I declare by faith, during the remaining part of this year, I will not die. My loved ones shall not die. Our businesses and ministries shall not die. We will all live by your grace to declare the glory, the power, and the faithfulness of God in the name of Jesus. Amen. Go ahead and declare. I declare by faith. During the remaining parts of this year, I will not die. Yes, I shall not die. My loved ones shall not die. Our businesses shall not die. Our ministries shall not die. We will all live by your grace to declare the glory, the power, and the faithfulness of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead and say, I decree that this year will end well for me and my household in Jesus' name. I declare by faith. During the remaining parts of this year, I will not die. My loved ones shall not die. Our business and ministry shall not die. We will all live by your grace, O oh God, to declare the glory, the power, and faithfulness of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, you are remaining under God's cover. You are remaining under God's cover. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. What do we have in Isaiah 54, 17? Remember Isaiah 54, 17, somebody? We are praying, we are praying. Isaiah 54, 17, what does it say? No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servant of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. Look at somebody in your household, look at somebody beside you, and say, No weapon, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is the heritage of the servant of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Rebuke the work of darkness, rebuke the works of darkness right now, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and rebuild the works of darkness. I cover you all. I cover myself. I cover everything that pertains to us with the blood of Jesus. I cover everyone hearing me right now with the blood of Jesus Christ. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus and I rebuild the works of darkness right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead and rebuild the works of darkness right now. In the name of Jesus. Whatever evil decision or agreement that has been reached in the spirit world against me and my loved ones this year, I command them to be frustrated in the name of Jesus. Whatever evil decision or evil agreement that has been reached in the spirit world or even in the physical world against me and my loved ones this year, I command them to be frustrated. I put a stop to all of them right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, it shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass. Every word against me, every word against my loved ones, none of them shall stand. None of them shall come to pass. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead and pray. Oh Lord, I now condemn every tongue that is speaking evil or may be planning to speak evil against me. In the name of Jesus. Now, yes. I condemn every tongue that is speaking evil against me, or may be planning to speak evil against me. I condemn them all in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray, go ahead and declare. 
Go ahead and declare. As the Lord lives, the remaining part of this year shall be for me a period of divine supernatural visitation and breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. Yes, as the Lord lives, the remaining part of this year shall be for us in fountain of love in Beru, a period of divine supernatural visitation and breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus as the Lord lives. The remaining part of this year shall be for us a period of divine supernatural visitation and breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and declare. Go ahead and declare. Whatever evil decision or agreement that has been reached in the spirit world against me, against my loved ones this year, I command them to be frustrated in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, we are rounding up, brethren. We are rounding up, brethren. Pray that the sick will be healed. Begin to pray for the sick that they will be healed. Pray that the depressed people be re inspired in the name of Jesus. Oh, those that are depressed, Father, re inspired. Re inspired. Inspired them. Oh, they are depressed because of one situation or the other. Oh, they don't seem to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Father, I pray, re inspire them. Oh, God. Shine your light upon them. Those that are sick, heal them. Heal them. Do you know anyone that is sick? Pray for that person right now. Send the word of healing into that person, into the body of that person. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Remembering somebody's name. Are you remembering someone that is unwell right now? Mention that person's name and speak healing to that person. Call that person and say, be healed right now. Receive healing. You, so, so, and so, whatever the name of the person is, receive healing. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak healing into your bones. I speak healing into your organs. I speak healing into your body. Receive healing right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Oh, let's pray that the sick be healed right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Are you praying? Are you praying, my dear brother? Are you praying, my dear sister? Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Then says he unto his disciples, The harvest truly is plenty, but the laborers are few. Matthew 9 and 7. The harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. 38 says, Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest, that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. Oh, yes. I remember uh, some years ago, people were contesting to become president. People were contesting to become president. And, and someone said, oh, our military is in this particular fashion. And the other contestant said, oh, times have changed. That's why we are using different, uh, uh, different ammunition, different things right now. The way of doing ministry is changing, but the great commandment is still the same. So pray for God to send special laborers. Pray to be transformed to meet the current challenges in ministry today. Go ahead, ask God to send special laborers into his vineyard. The way of doing ministry is changing, but the great commandment is still the same. Father, that great commission that you have given unto us is still the same. I ask, O oh God, that you send special laborers, send special laborers, into the vineyard. Transform us, O oh God, to meet the current challenges in ministry in the name of Jesus Christ. Has the Holy Spirit to give you special grace to meet God's expectation of you. Ask the Holy Spirit to give you special grace to meet God's expectation of you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. Brexit talks, they are coming back, but the pandemic is not over. The Brexit talk is there. The COVID-19 pandemic is there. Pray that God, that, that the word of God should have entrance into the hearts of men. Go ahead and pray for those in authority that they will hear God and follow his guidance and instruction. Go ahead and pray for those in authority that they will hear God and follow his instructions. Oh yes, they are now talking about Brexit. They are talking about the pandemic. Father, speak, speak, and let those in authority hear you. In the name of Jesus. Finally, we are praying for the move of God in your neighborhood. Go ahead and pray. Father, let your word grow mightily and prevail 
in our neighborhood. Let your word grow mightily and prevail on our streets. Pray for your neighbors. Pray for your neighbors. If do you have a neighbor that you are not sure of? Pray for that your neighbor. Pray that the word of God will prevail in the land and that the gospel will bear fruits of mass revival, salvation, and Holy Spirit baptism in the name of Jesus. Begin to round up your prayers. Begin to round up your prayers. Unto the Lord. Be the glory. Great things he has done. Unto the Lord. Be the glory. Great things he has done. Father, we give you all the glory for all that you have done. We thank you for how you have led us to pray, Holy Spirit of God, not by power, not by might, but by my spirit, says the Lord. And so we give you all the glory. Jesus, we give you all the glory, Holy Ghost of God, for helping us to pray unto God Almighty in the name of Jesus. Father, even as we have prayed, you have heard. Please answer speedily in the name of Jesus. And take all glory. Give us testimonies, Almighty Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. We pray remaining under God's cover. We pray remaining under God's cover. And uh, we want to say it's another time to bless God with tithes, with offerings. Your thought offerings, you've got tithes. Go ahead. And set them aside, go ahead and present them to God. Even in that your room, in that your living room, wherever you are, present that your offering to God. You can set it aside. This is the offering that came from uh, Angelina, and the offering that came from. Let me uh, ask any questions if you have. Ask any questions if you have. Father Lord, in the name of Jesus, we are truly grateful for an opportunity to pay tithes. We are truly grateful for an opportunity to give offerings. We ask, Lord, that all our tithes and our offerings, that as they are being paid, as they are being given, that you accept all of them. Some are setting it aside, some are paying it after they accept all of them. Bless them and sanctify them and use them for your purpose in Jesus' name. Fill our pockets to overflowing, that will not have room enough to keep your blessing and make us. Blessings unto many other people, because channels of blessings unto many. You said we shall lend to nations. Yes, help us to lend to nations indeed. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Matchless Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. As we round up this service, present one matter to God. What is it that is there that we didn't touch while we were praying? Present it to God at this moment. There is that burning issue. We didn't mention it when we were praying. God is telling you right now, you have an opportunity. Present it to Him. Present it to God. Ask God to have His way in the matter. And ask God to have His way in the matter. You are expecting a letter. You are expecting a phone call. You are expecting a promotion. What is it that is burning in your heart? Present it to God. Is it your child? Is it your parents? We want to pray for them right now. Go ahead and pray in the name of Jesus. Is it an exam? What is it? Present it. Is it your career? Present it. Is it your family? Present that burning vision to God. Father, Lord, I pray. As your children are praying, Holy Spirit, please guide them. Help them to pray around. God, please, hear and answer the prayers. Their petition, their request, speedily. Oh, some are even interceding for others. Please help them, O oh God. Hear and answer this prayer, O oh God. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. As we go into this week, we are not going by our own accord. You are leading us, Father, lead us. 
Holy Spirit of God, lead us. Take us along. Take us through this week with your almighty hand and give us testimonies, O God. When next we are meeting, let us meet with testimonies rejoicing, O God. Our Father, I pray, if the rapture takes place before the next time we'll be meeting with each other, I ask that none of us will be left behind in the name of Jesus. Make us all raptured, O God. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Go in peace. Go in love. Go in joy.